Welcome back to the Rolling Rucks. We're Stu, Charlie, and our three kids, Oliver, Dexter, and Amelia. We've taken our motor home on lots of adventures over the last 15 months. We've visited some spectacular places. But now is the time to see if we can convert this two-year-old crafter into a fully functional camper van that sleeps all five of us. We're doing it from scratch, learning as we go, giving it our blood, sweat, and tears. We want a gas-free van with a shower and a toilet and as much open space as we can get. Join us this week as we continue the build. So since last week's video where we had to cut you off because time was getting a little bit close to the whole post in the video point of the day, I promised you I'd show you the shower and as you can see, it's freezing, absolutely freezing. It's pitch black. Man butt has been working really, really hard all afternoon. I was in there editing last week's video, so I've come out basically to show you what he's been doing because you're going to be wondering, well, is the shower finished or not? So I figured I'll just show you. Anyway, come on, let's go. So as you can see, we're not working with much lighting in here. We've literally got a torch on the floor there um, and he's using our kitchen workspace there to dump all his tools so I have to keep telling him off because he's going to scratch the, uh, scratch the oven and I know you're not going to see it but still, got to be careful so in here as I say, the lighting's not too great but he's fitted the shower which looks absolutely wicked there's a light there which I think I showed you last time but this is what's really cool the tam the tambador hang on a second so this is what's really cool with Tambador. So he's fitted this, the top and bottom, and it's literally closes on a slider like that. I'm gonna stand back a bit because I'm a bit close, just for you to be able to see. I think that's wicked. Look how the silver literally matches the trim that we chose. So I don't know if that was just fluke or what, but yeah, happy with that. This corner here, he's doing some plumbing work, so he's going to box all that in with some PVC board. So I'm really excited to see that. Um, the problem we've got, though, is he's fitted the tap to it, and because of the silicon, uh, it needs to wait a night. So instead of doing that this evening, we're going to put these wall units up. So we've got one for this side and one for this side. Our mattress is here. It's in. It's had a few days to just settle on there. So that's actually now fit into size. There he is. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> You've actually just given me loads more light, so thanks for that, because um, we're, we're trying to view all this on a torch. Let there be light. <laughs> <laughs> now, time for these to go up. Yeah. And I'm going to test out the new mattress. It'll be nice. So in the motorhome, we've got those, the cushions, and it's in about 500 parts. We always have backache and shoulder yeah. ache. And that lasted about two weeks before we actually bought a topper mattress. And that's about 50, 60 mil thick. That was nice again for a couple of weeks. No, it's just in the way. It's horrible, yeah. But it still makes it, it makes it bearable, but it's not comfy. So now we've got what we've opted for. We bought these from eFoam because they are, they're all cut to size. And we've got a 100 mil foam with a 25 mil memory topper all as one yeah and we could have gone you can go you can go it's, thicker than that can't you and you can go thinner than that it's can, literally everything yeah, is made to you, order I think you can go from 50 mil up to 200 or 250 yeah. have a look efoam.co.uk yeah they were quick as well i think i ordered these on the sunday and they arrived on the tuesday so can't fault it can you no it was really good but yeah i want to get get these up get the end one on then at the kitchen because that's then all the cabinets are installed they've all been built i've just taken them all back down so Charles can paint them so i want to get them back up now <laughs> yeah tell them why really you had to take them off the wall because i was painting them because you'd have painted my carpet as well it's a true story right i am renowned for being the messiest painter there is i know it's, yeah i am rubbish if but I'm you're actually rubbish. You're just you're a messy painter. Yeah, the finish is nice though, and in my yeah. the finish is nice though, and in in my view, 
you know, it's all about what the end product, the end result looks like. I mean, that's what I'm going to stare at. I'm not going to be staring at, you know. What about the 10 hours worth of cleaning up and paint? I do spend time cleaning, yeah, but whatever, in it, Whatever. <laughs> I was the one who suggested getting it off the wall because he'd fitted it and I'd said, warning, you fit that on there, there's definitely going to be paint on the carpet. So in fairness, he did listen. He took it down, much to his uh, annoyance. But um, they're going to look well nice now, aren't they, going up? They will. So let's get these up. I can get the end one on. And then I'm going to lie on this bed. Yeah, go on then. Let's have a look what that looks like, what it feels like. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Go on then. Cool. Let's do it. So we've got pre-existing holes because obviously he's put this one up previously and now I'm trying to find the holes. It's proven to be a bit of a nightmare. We're trying to get it as square as possible. But in fairness... He's getting that. I think it's just the it's working in tight spaces, isn't it, love? Yeah. That's better. Once you get going, it's okay. It's just all good. Yeah. Well, of course, the van's out as well, isn't it? The van's not square. It's not like working in a normal kitchen or whatever. No. Got to account for all the curves and stuff. Go look at the end of the bed oh. and look up, but just check it looks square. It's hard to see from up here. Yeah, looks good to me. Okay, so what's the bed like, love? Yeah, it's nice. It's very firm. Oh, it's all right, we can break that in. <laughs> a couple of nights on that, it'll be all soft and you'll be moaning. The cupboard's up, that looks fantastic. You can appreciate in the light now, the color on the paint. I think that looks really nice. I think uh, it was a perfect paint job, to be honest. Nothing on the carpet, love. I like it, it's good. Right, let's get this last one over here up. Yeah. And then I can do the kitchen one. All right, then. Let's, let's be having you. And can I just say, everybody, this man has worked 12-hour days, seven days a week to get this van done in the time frame that we've allowed. <laughs> and we have had to ask for a little bit of help. But he's done amazing. So well done, man, Bert. Thanks, love. Proud of you. So we've got an end panel to stick on the one on the right in a bit. Stu's just fixing that one now into place. I'm not going to lie though, I'm a bit concerned about getting up and down on that bed because it's high, like it's proper high. It's nice though, it's really so comfy. I do a granny rail. I need a granny step, don't I, or something, or a handle to help me get back down. <laughs> I'll get used to it. But yeah, just so you can see from the back there, obviously the bottom rail is the kiddies bed. We've still got their partitions to go and their hole that goes all the way through. We've got back door there with handles on that obviously open internally, so if there was an emergency, we can get them out. And yeah, our top one, would, to be honest with you, if there was an emergency, we'd all fly out the back, wouldn't we? So I think the trick there is not to reverse too tight into anything. Here's all the work top, but it's still, gonna go on, uh, still got to go on. But the reason it's not yet is purely because we've got our induction hob there in the box, ready to go this side. Um, but the sink's not yet arrived. We have uh, rescheduled that with the delivery company and hope that comes tomorrow. The tap is here though, and the kitchen's been painted, so it's literally just ready and waiting now for that worktop to be popped onto there. So that's gonna obviously change the look of the van completely. The cupboards up there are fitted. As we've already said on our last video, we're not gonna do a bulkhead there now. We are gonna do something else with that area. And the shower room is starting to come together really, really well. It's just looking amazing. I know there's a lot of stuff in here, but there is still, there's still room to move. As much as I'm thinking, oh gosh, this is smaller than what we're used to. Well, right is, now, it's it, it is smaller than what we're used to, but we think, the pro well, we hope. The pros should offset the cons, you know, there's a lot of pros the van offers over the motorhome. Oh, massively. Wet yeah. room, you can have an, a proper shower in you, whereas you can't in the motorhome. The space in there, you know, you went in there earlier on and spun around, and then Oliver went in after you and spun around, and the amount of room you both have yeah, got is, is insane. We, wouldn't, we don't have that in the motorhome. Gas ovens in the motorhomes, caravans, shit. <laughs> they are shit. I don't care what anyone says, they cook like crap. They, yeah, they cut, yeah. Um, you know, you can, get by, you, can, you can get by with them, but they are, ultimately, they are no comparisons to what you can get to electric. Mm. 
So we did do a little tester on this electric one and what a difference. Yeah. So Stu's done some electrics. I haven't spoken to you much about electrics at the moment, but just down here, he's done a USB, a couple of USBs and a socket there. I really like these trims. They're so nice. So we've got that there. Um, and he did this really cool thing, like a thready thing. Fishing what? cables. Fishing, yeah. Fish the cables behind. Yeah, it doesn't, yeah, he's like, oh yeah, fish the what was it? Fish in a cable. Fish in a cable, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So to him, it's nothing, but I was really impressed. But yeah, that's my Smeg kettle plug. And uh, I'm really chuffed that it's got a surround that matches it. So it's the little things, you know, girls like detail. Um, we've got the tiles to put on by there, hence obviously why that's still ply. Um, I bought self a G Jiv and I'm not sure if it's going to fit. All right, let me out, boot. i got to get back to work. But yeah, look, this... You wouldn't believe it's the same van, would you? He has literally transformed the place. I know I've had my fair share of labouring and painting and all of that. But, you know, my main job, really, primarily, has been to look after the children, cook them tea, bring them cups of coffee, that kind of stuff. And, you know, a bit of painting, a bit of fetching here and there. I don't really feel like I've done that much in terms of the build. But I know from a supportive side, I've, I've kind of done all the other stuff. And Stu has literally just been incredible. He's really amazed me actually watching him work and the dedication he's had has been amazing right so as most of you know our van's going to be gas free and as part of that system we've got some other products that we're going to use for our heating and hot water now we don't want to use our 12 volt system for that because it's a gas free van and it's going to have a lot of pressure already on that so we want to obviously preserve that as much as we can so quite commonly for heating, people will put in a diesel heater, which is what we've got for here. We have opted for a quality diesel heater. We haven't gone sort of top of the range, but we haven't gone for any of that Chinese stuff either, because we're relying on both obviously the heating and the hot water through this machine. So we want it to do what it says on the tin. So we've got an auto term four kilowatt diesel heater. To coincide then with the diesel heater for the hot air system, we are going for the bobble heater system. Now, what the bobble heater system does, it actually utilizes the hot air from the diesel heater to heat the water. So, mostly through this device here. So, inside there, I don't know if you can see it, but it looks a little bit like a car radiator. And basically what will happen is the hot air comes through this side obviously through those vents and will come out the other side and that will eventually go down to ground. Whilst that's happening, water is then being pumped through that system, through these pipes, you've got an inlet here and an outlet here, and it will circulate and keep circulating. And there is a sensor that will go onto this until then it gets up to temperature. So you've got an air sensor on the heat exchange unit. Then this is the bobble tank. So this is, a pressurized container tank so this has just been upgraded and we've been told we've actually had the first one out of the factory so what this now does this will actually heat the hot water in three different ways so you've got the first way which is via the hot air system you've got then a second one which is through your dc system but then the other thing that they've just added on to it and that's what this spare cable now is here for so you see three cables and that's for when you're on shore power. So it's also now got an AC element in here as well, which I think is a really good option. So if we are on a site and we're plugged in, then we can just use the campsite's electric to heat up our 10 liters of hot water. Good morning, so it's now Tuesday. Uh, unfortunately, yesterday I didn't manage to do any recording for you to show what had happened. Uh, there was loads of progress here yesterday. Stu and Martin did absolutely loads got all the custom frontals of the cupboards they were built the headboards were built it was just plumbing heating building scribing they were non-stop the reason there was no uh, camera action i'm afraid was uh, one of the kids was ill so i stayed in the van and then once i knew they were all feeling better i nipped out painted some of the frontals and that's pretty much all that happened for me yesterday i'm going to run you through quickly today what they've been doing because they've just nipped out somewhere to go and get some extra bits for the van some wood for the ceiling because we've realized that the wood that we've got here is too thick so they want some thinner boards for that there's some bits of wood that we need to collect then for the dividers for the kids beds 
and also the brackets that we've got for the frontals on some of the drawers and the doors just aren't working out so they want to get some bigger or different ones so when they come back i'll let them explain that but yeah i'll show you what's happened so far so a new plug has been put on the frontal here the worktop has been installed this morning. Um, I wasn't out of my pit quick enough to show you. They, they got that on so fast. I didn't really have a chance. So sorry about that. So the doors are going to be fitted today. They've all been painted. All this section here is going to be just worktop space. So it's kitchen. Let me just zoom out. Sorry. So all this space here is going to be uh, worktop, usable worktop space. So that's actually more than what I've got currently in the roller team. They fitted the hob. So we've got our nice induction hob here and just here is where the sink's going to go that's still yet to arrive so they've not obviously put the hole in for that the tap will probably go in as well all the cupboards are now on so you can see there all the frontals are getting fitted today we've got our light bar up here Stu's done an amazing job on the shower uh i'll just see if i can show you here so he's created a custom corner here to put the tap on obviously that will hide the pipes and things there's the shower lovely he has got some oh he did mention actually he's got some ceiling in to do up here which won't take him long but that's pretty much done we're just waiting on a base for the portaloo so we can put that in the potty. all the frontals have been painted down here and the foot plate has gone in for the leg for the dining table and as you can see there's an array of wood and tools all left in some shape for when they get back to finish this off so all in all as you can see quite a bit's happened um the frontal there isn't fitting flush so i think that's what they were on about with the bracket to be honest i hadn't had a coffee at this point when he mentioned it so they're going to be about an hour i'd say and then when they get back this fan is really just going to be getting finished off now it's the finishing touches isn't it we've got the headboards made for the back of the van for the beds i think it's the dividers that we need there's some slatting that needs to happen as well and um yeah we're pretty much at the stage now where we just want to get our wheels done and we've got to get our electrics done so we're, we're literally not too far off i reckon we've got another maybe day or so here we're currently paying on day right now because we're that close to finishing we didn't really want to fork out for weeks on end at a time so once we obviously finish here that's when we're going to hit the road and then we're going to go and get the wheels done first because the van just looks a little bit silly at the minute we've got these wheels currently and they don't really go so we're going to get some nice fat alloys put on there yeah just to give it a nice finish we've got some solar to go up on the strut things that he made and the electrics and that's pretty much it so i'll just show you what i can now over the next day or two what's happening yeah i think that's pretty much it i'm gonna go in and have a cup of coffee and wait for the boys to come back and then i'll just wait for my jobs and the kids can get on with some coloring or something take it easy and it is the week up to christmas after all <laughs> so the boys are back they've just come back with a cheeky lunch for me and the kiddos and I've got about 20 layers on because it's absolutely Baltic out here. So I'm going to just go and see now what it is that they've bought from their little jolly out to the shops. What have you been buying then? Um, new hinges uh, for the cabinet doors, trim for the step, trim for the bathroom, shower room, and McDonald's. Nice, nice. Did you enjoy yours? Oh. We went down without touching the sides. Lush. Yeah, we enjoyed ours too, so thanks for stopping and picking that up. No We've just uh, had a right old good time. Just remind me later not to drive away before taking the play off the roof. Oh, right, okay, yeah, no. I Could think pick that up as well? that's all got to be fitted today, Mart. Anyway, I think we're on about doing the ceiling. Um, we've got the trims to go just around here because I want a fancy finish there. Mm -hmm. And there's a wooden part here that Stu needs to do some sort of cover with. We did think about wood, didn't we? But people are going to kick that. Well, we've picked up. It's in the corner over by Stu's toolbox. Um, oh, yeah. A checker plate trim. Nice. I'll go check that out then. Okay. See what I did there? Thank you very much. <laughs> Here he is. Look, he is working. It's not just Martin. He is actually doing stuff. I'm doing electrics in the boat. 
So yesterday you did loads of electrics and plumbing, actually. You were there for hours and hours. I'm not exactly sure what you've done. So do you want to let everyone know? Because I've got no idea. Bit of, it's a combination of things, really. So tidying up some of the electrics that were in there. So I've connected some things up and got them routed back to where all the electrical boxes and that are going to be. I've done all the plumbing. So I've plumbed in all the hot water, all the cold water. I've got one bit of plumbing to do left, which is from the tank onto my tail. That's there ready and waiting for it so I can connect the tank up. Um, but we're still waiting. We've been waiting for two weeks now for the inlet grommet. It's a 40 mil water filler pipe that comes in and that needs to go into the filler. And I need like a bulkhead connector that goes on the tank. I ordered it two weeks ago. It didn't come when I'd ordered other stuff. It wasn't in there. I reported it and then they've resent it up. But they've resent it to our old address. I was like, that's my billing address, not my delivery address. So we've got another one coming today, hopefully. Well, um, fingers crossed then. So that'll all be finished. That'll be the plumbing. This is what I'm doing in there now is I want to get all the plumbing and hot water stuff done because I want to test it all and make sure I've got no leaks. Yeah, because you fitted the shower and that's looking nice. So you, can you test that as well? That's what I'll be testing in, yeah. Yeah, the shower. lush. Nice one. And Martin's here, bless him, putting all the frontals on that he made yesterday on all the cupboards. So that's going to make the van look amazing. Go on. Oh, you got a little Robin up there. Uh, I don't know if I can get him. Oh, Pe yeah, Pebbles is back in the van. He's uh, not... Oh, there he is, look. I've just done another hole in the floor of the van. And that's for this drain off pipe, which is for the hot water. I've got the expansion tank in, the water pumps in. So I said all the water is done. Um, I've just got a connector here yeah. that's got to go then to the tank. The heating is all done, the heat exchanger is all done. And that does get quite warm, like there's some warm air blowing through that at the moment, just to give me some hot air. Now what you can do is with this pipe this goes on the end here and then you can have this go down through your floor so you, say in the summer you want hot water but you don't want no heat in you can just sink it down through the floor i'm going to choose not to do that for a couple of reasons one it's another hole in the van which i don't particularly want but secondly because the bed is here when we want hot water that's the only time in the summer we're obviously going to put the heat in on is when we want the hot water so we will i'll just open the back doors to let the air that's under the bed escape nice babe all right then you carry on with that then all and right, then. um <laughs> i'll come back when it's all finished i see you in a couple of days love don't want to be a couple of days i was hoping to get out of here tomorrow i'm gonna do the water tank i've got the strap in here so what we're doing is I'm going to use battens on the floor to stop it from moving sideways or front and back. That's going to hold it in situ. But then I'm also going to double them up with some of this builder's strap and use that to pin it down. So it's held down and it also won't be able to move left to right or back and forwards when we're driving. It'll be solid. Some people have asked why we've put it in the garage. Yes, we've got a cold, uh, a small space in the garage, but putting it outside like at the moment it's minus temperatures out there I don't want to be battling with frozen pipes later on because we do have plans to do some cold areas like the Nordics Scandinavia um, you want to do Switzerland yeah so you know we, we we equally enjoy the colder spots as much as we do the sunnier spots oh, calm down now I don't necessarily enjoy oh, the cold right. spots. I prefer the colder spots Charles prefers the warmer spots we so do we both. compromise yeah we, we do both <laughs> we compromise um, and yeah just having that tank on the outside you're just in a different field then then we got to look at keeping it warm and you need heat mats and yeah i can't be dealing with that it's just let's keep it inside it's completely safe less faff less faff no one can mess with it it's yeah it's safe the bobble is all done i've just got a got the wiring got the 230 so that's gonna go on a 13 amp fcu which will then go over to the consumer unit We've got the 12 volt cables 
and again that needs to come over and I'll be rerouted over I just wait for some cable to extend these you've got the recirculation pump which is here and I've got to extend those over to a relay so the system's really clever there's two sensors on it we've got a sensor that's on the heat so it knows how hot the air that's coming through is and then you've got a water sensor so obviously it knows how hot the water is and then we've got a dual display which we'll have a look at now this is the display and I got two little screens here and they're going to tell me what the air temperature is and then what the water temperature is and then I've got some isolation switches here for the 12 volt and the 230 I've then got this voltmeter which is all connected in line with a relay and what the voltmeter will do is that say it's a nice summer's day our batteries are full but we could be driving or we've got solar coming in so we've got b2b electrics coming in or we've got solar electric coming in batteries like nope we're full don't need it what this will effectively then allow us to do is the bob will go yep yeah, me i'll have that because the water's not hot in the tank i'll just use it to give you hot water so it's an automatic thing but obviously there are settings you've got to set it up to do all this and you get full instructions from them to do that so yeah i'm looking forward to it i'm going to build a nice little cupboard for this to go in i think i'm going to hide this inside one of the cupboards because it's not it's something that once you've set it up you just leave it be so it's you know i don't want lights on in the living space so i'm going to hide it inside one of the cupboards out of the way nice and neat set it up and basically forget about it that's pretty much what it is i think the main thing to do is when you're using your diesel heater to heat the element because that's actually the strongest way to do it it blows the 230 and the 12 volt out of the water i'll put some figures on the screen now so you can see the heat output for 12 volt 230 and then the diesel is you just got to keep an eye on it so that when your water is at temperature you've got to change the diverter either back to your heat index or turn your heating off if it's like the summer you don't want to keep heating it because obviously that that heat exchange is just going to get hotter and hotter so it is something you've got to keep an eye on we're not a million miles away now it is all the front doors we're still waiting on this sink which has been with the old old for over a week we've given them details for a new address up here to send to hoping that it's going to come today but it's not looking likely, is it? Well, no, there's another parcel you would have had of mine for over a week and a half, and I still haven't received it, and I'm starting to get a little bit... Yeah, uh, we've got some sledges for the kids, and we still haven't got that. We haven't got them, and yeah, we're heading to Scotland, and I know there's snow, so the kids are going to be That's gutted. It. We're later end part of this week, right, and everything's good. We're going to get some new wheels on her, and that is just going to completely change how she looks. It's going to be awesome. So Stu's been back here, hustling for the past hour. We have spotlights. Yay! <laughs> the USBs. I like them. We have these in our motorhome. And yeah, they've been brilliant. Yeah, we do like them, don't we? So we're going to have one each side. And then the kiddies are going to have one each in their pods as well, aren't well, they? Well, that's it. Initially, I was going to give like one light each, one USB port each. And I was like, two in one. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they look good. So, yeah, in fact, the van has come along lovely today. It's a huge difference. This week has been a little bit one step forward and three steps back. We've managed to get loads and loads completed, but there's been, like, a couple of little snaggy bits that we've had to then go back over and redo. Um, not much, but just little things going on with the plumbing. There's also been a bit of, like... Uh, filler and cedar and things like that that's needed to go on so I'm gonna have to repaint over that which is absolutely fine it won't take long there's not that much left to do we've got the ceiling slats to go on today uh, originally I wanted to get a natural wood and what has happened is the wood we could find was that hi Stu hi Dinlux it's the first hour of the morning he doesn't want to come on the camera so that's the wood we've got. So I've now got to spend the best part of the morning painting that as well. After I've cut it into slits. Yeah, so I've been nagging in for these slits all week so we can get on with it today. <laughs> we've got the lino as well, that needs to go down. I've got, so I've got the Unistrut roof rack is fitted to the van. I've got to do the cross members. I've got to fit the lino. I've got to finish building the kids' beds. 
and a couple of little bit of electrics, mostly lighting to be honest. It's mostly yeah. done. Yeah, and we've done our last Amazon order of deliveries this morning, so they're coming tomorrow. But and they're then they're soft furnishings, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, they're all the ghouly bits I've been waiting for. Oh no, we still haven't had our sink. No, that's we, true. But we drove to Yodel Service Centre yesterday where we know where it's at and they couldn't find it. Yeah, it's shocking really, isn't it? And this sink, because of the size and it's black, we wanted a black sink. Yeah. We can't get another one. Yeah. So we're hoping, they said they're going to look for it tonight and they're going to call us this morning and hopefully they found it. Which if they have, I'll be zipping straight yeah. back up to the Netflix to get it. Yeah, to be honest, that's like one of the major things that we need now, isn't it? Yeah. Everything else is done. So literally, we were hoping to collect our deliveries tomorrow and be out of here. Yeah, the only thing, right, I don't know how people get from... A normal, say, we're using a kitchen sink, okay, so it's normally about 100 mil waste on it and it comes out at 40. I need to get that reduced down to 20, which is your standard camper van waste pipe. How does that happen? Because I literally, I have no idea. Okay. I've got the 20 mil hole, but I've still got to convert it from 40 to 20. So do you just stick one of those silver squeezers on? No, because 40 mil is like that big and 20 mil is like that big. Fair enough. Don't know that. Maybe some sort of funnel, funnel like rubber, <laughs> that sticks on one end and reduces the other end. Yeah, I need some sort of reducer, but obviously people are using something in particular. There must be some sort of reducer for it, so I'll have to have a look. Yeah, or you could just let us know in the comments, that'd be awesome. Yeah, I, I, generally I don't know. Yeah, we're, so basically we're hoping this is going to be our last full working day. Stu has been, literally been doing 12 hour days, 8 to late for the past 4 weeks. 7 but, days a week baby, but this fan is built. Yes. It's done. I say done, it's not finished. And there'll be a few things that I'm going to want to tweak later on. Like the electrics are going in next week just as we're heading up to Scotland. Mm. Ideally, I'd have liked to have had those in because I want to do some sort of casing around it like put it in a cupboard type thing but for now they'll be surface mounted on some nice ply and i'll have to sort that out later on well you were the one who said a van is never finished that's what they all say van is never finished and i can see why yeah it but won't, it's not finished it's also looking very different to what we were originally expecting so in the beginning we sort of said we were going to do xyz and it's it's turned out really, really well, considering we have just made so many changes, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, that's something else we've learned, is the van, you know, you've got a set size to work with, and trying to get five seats, five beds, yeah. plus a shower, plus a kitchen. I'm not going to lie, it's been a challenge, and I've had a lot of head-scratchy moments where I've just been stood there trying to figure some stuff out. Yeah. But, yeah, we've persevered, and we, we have got it done. Like I said, there's some things that, like I'd have liked on the van that we simply can't have, but we've made best with what we got and the time frame which we had to build it. Yeah, so, I think overall we've done pretty well. Three and a half weeks yeah. since we had it back from the from, from it being resprayed, mm. and yeah, I think we've done quite a lot. I've made a bed. It actually looks like home in here. It's looking amazing. There's some final little touches now that Stu needs to do, like wiring and stuff, and he's got to test the plumbing on the sink area put his slats up, put the lino down, and we're out of here, baby. So here's the bathroom completed. I'm just gonna get some ghouly bits, stick some shelves up by there and perhaps a mirror. Our bed's finished, I've just gotta obviously make it. I've got some new duvets and some bits by here that'll ghouly fire that up. Stu's still working all down there, so that's obviously why that's still in a bit of a mess. The worktop's in, the frontals are all on. That's looking nice. I put some tiles on here. These are just self-adhesive ones. Although I do need to cut them around here because they're still looking a little bit scrappy. But otherwise, that we're quite happy with that. Our over the sink kitchen cupboard there with the push in, push down handles. Quite happy with them actually. I wasn't gonna go for them, but we've got these in the motorhome similar and they, and they work really well, they're nice and flush. Pebbles is uh, joining us. Look, Pebbles. He's quite happy with his place. He's got a little hole under there. And he's got a bunk bed in there. Marder with some drawers. You know, the cat's actually got more space than we've got. Oh, the cat's landed in here. He literally got his own bunk bed, hasn't he? Yeah. There's the boys' cupboards. We're going to use these for some clothes. And that's obviously where they're going to sit. This is our end table for the worktop. So it's just going to 
drop down on the side by there. And then you can see we've done the cupboards there. Again, push locks. And you can see they're quite big. So we're gonna stick some pots and pans and stuff in them. And we chose a ninja oven. So it's like a 10 in one and that can like do toasting, microwaving the lot. So I'm looking forward to that. So Stu's just started putting the slats in by there for the kids' beds. He's sorted out all the plumbing, the bobble heater and all that stuff underneath here. I don't really understand any of that, sorry. But from a wood perspective, I'm just literally looking at what needs doing. I've got some little hole fillings, excuse the coffee. i got some hole fillers to put here. Sorry, I've got to sand all the hole filling and repaint all that for the headboard. The boy's headboard needs to go on. And that's pretty much it. Stu's put some fancy lights in. I don't know if he showed you them earlier in the week. I can't actually remember anymore. And the kiddies ones are now in. So they've all got a spotlight and it's got a dimmer on the back here. And it's also got a USB on it. So they've each got one of those, which I think is pretty cool. They've got their dividers to go in as well. So I might paint them actually today while I've got the paint pot out. So yeah, just last minute bits today now. Looking forward to seeing the completed van. I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't sound long, three and a half to four weeks, <clears throat> but it has been an absolute slog. So if you're gonna do a van build in that time frame, be aware, it's hell. So the dividers are going in now. Stu's just dry fitting them to make sure that they're, they're fitting exactly how he wants them to fit. He's rounded off the edges as well to prevent any kind of splintering or anything like that, the other side. And this side's gonna stay square because it's obviously at the back. Um, I'm gonna come along in a second and paint all of this. But before we do all of that, we're gonna get the kids out and we're gonna show them and see what they think. Get a I, was just, I was just gonna say, should we get the mattresses? Yeah. They'll like that, won't they? Yeah. They've been sat in that bag for the best part of a week. <laughs> they oh, probably need a bit a of a... Has it been over a week? They've only sent us two of them. We've ordered three, but that looks like one to me. Crap. Isn't it? Yeah. Never mind. Stick this one in and see what it's like. Hopefully it'll fit. We gave them all the measurements and everything, didn't we? So at least we'll know it's if they fit. Made. The other beds have been made. Yeah, well, that's it. I mean, it could be worse. It could still be with the company. So the fact that they're down there, we'll just have to go down and sit there until they give us our stuff. Because we yeah. went down there yesterday and they found one item, didn't they? But that took them hours. It's my fault. I should have opened this up but checked it because... You know, that is one part, and it's quite thin, but I thought maybe it's, you know, they suck the air out of it. Like a vacuum pack. I thought maybe that's what they had done, so to be honest, I hadn't even thought of it. Never mind. We'll see if it fits anyway. We'll get it in, see what it looks like. Just watch that hole, all right? <laughs> Getting a bit close to it. So the good news is we managed to get the mattresses from the Yodel customer care place. We also managed to get our sink, so that can go in in a second. First things first, we're going to show the kids their uh, beds. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, look at them all smiling. I think they might like that. Uh, you haven't got electric yet. What do you think, guys? It's good. Do you like it? Is it comfy? Yeah, <laughs> so Wally Hoover's up the mess. My slats have now changed colour because I've realised I've run out of paint, which is lovely. So I've just had to redo them. I got halfway through before I realised. So hoping it still looks amazing, but it's not going to have the shock factor that I was initially going with. And yeah, I'm covered. Look at the state. Never mind. So in a couple of minutes, hopefully we'll have a sink fitted. Stu said he's going to do the tap as well. When he starts doing that, I'll explain why I chose the tap that I've got. Woohoo! Sink is in. Oh, that's quite deep, actually. Yeah, 200 mil. Nice. Yeah, that looks wicked. Look at all that worktop space. Huge. So, can my tap go by here? Like in the middle? Yeah, a bit, a bit, a little bit closer. Yeah. So this tap's going to be cool because it's a pulley-out one, like a, on a hose. 
So I was hoping like when we're abroad and we've all been down the beach, I'll be able to pull the hose out and spray everyone down before they're allowed in the van. Whoop, 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 whoop. So today's leaving day. We're getting very excited round here, aren't we? Come in. <laughs> we've just got the lino to put down and then we've just got to tidy up and then we're going, aren't we? We're heading on. I've got a couple of little things to do. I've got to put the gas drop vent in now, which is the ventilation for the rear, which a few people have been concerned about. And I'll show you what I mean. So I'm putting a couple of these in. Yeah, they go in the floor and it's just to allow some circulation. So I've been down there and I'm making sure I'm keeping away from the exhausts for both the vehicle and the diesel eater. Got this to put in, got the dining table to set up, so cut, we got the line out. And that's it, we're leaving then. We're done. Yeah, mm. so we figured we may as well just leave the video here this week because obviously we're leaving here. Yeah, so that's all the main work done. We've just got to yeah. go, we got to go down to get some alloys. Let's get some new boots on this bad girl. Yeah, so that's what I was going to say. So next time, if you come back, you'll see electrics being fitted. All the electrics being done. So we'll have a chat about how the electrics have started from planning right through to completion. New alloys. Alloy wheels. And a van tour. Van tour. Yeah. So until, until then. <laughs> <laughs> but until next time, guys. We'll see you in a bit. Ta-ra, guys.